Hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. So you have some friends and they're just getting into modern games and you want to teach them card drafting, let's say. Well, my go-to gateway game would be Sushi Go. I love the game. It's absolutely fantastic. But if you want something a little more advanced, something where you're attacking your opponents, defending yourself, using light and dark magic, well, I've got the game for you. It plays three to six people, ages 14 plus, and it plays in about 45 minutes. It's brought to us by Smirk and Dagger Games. It's Nevermore. Let's take a look at it. In the game, there are three decks of cards. In the main deck, there are five types of cards. Attack, Healing, Radiance, Victory, and Ravens. The Shadow and the Light Magic cards will be used as modifiers to attack other people or to help yourself. You will always be drafting five cards. Each player begins with a Shadow Magic card and five health. There are a number of ways the game can end, usually by the first player to collect six or more victory tokens. Each round, we have a tile that will show us which way we're drafting, and how the cards will activate will be different each round as well. They will be shuffled and placed face down. As their turn comes up, you will flip it to show which cards you are set to play. The value of your cards played is determined by the second highest amount played. So if I played three attack cards and the second highest amount was one, I'm actually only going to attack for two. I choose the player I want to attack. If your health goes below zero, you flip the tile and you become a raven. We'll talk more about that later. And the same thing is for health. If I play three health and the second highest amount played was two, I'm actually only going to gain one health. The player who plays the highest amount of Radiance cards minus the second highest amount will receive the difference in Light Magic cards. And when it comes to victory points, it's the same. Whoever plays the most minus the second highest would receive a victory cube. If a player manages to collect five Raven cards, it's not going to be a good thing for you. The round is over immediately. The player holding those cards will get a Shadow Magic card and a victory point. Everyone else will take a damage. If in your hand you have one or two Raven cards, that's not a good thing either because the Raven cards don't like the other cards and they will nullify one of those cards as they're called for. But if you have three or four cards, then you're a Skulking Raven. As you have more Raven cards than you can get rid of regular cards, the leftover cards, whoever has the most Ravens minus the second most Ravens, that person will get to draw Shadow Magic cards. And when it comes to the Shadow and Light Magic cards, they will indicate when and how they can be used. If there's a Raven icon at the bottom, that part can only be used by someone transformed into a Raven. If through the game you lose all your health, you flip your tile and you'll become a raven. You can get back into the game as a regular player by having played five of a kind or one of each suit. However, there may be an advantage to being a raven at times because as a raven, even if you have the majority of a suit and while you can't attack, heal, or collect victory points, you can stop someone else from doing that. And there are other rules associated with Ravens as well. When a human player has earned six or more victory points, they will win. Or, if only one human remains, they will win. However, a Raven's peck can remove two or more human players. The pecking Raven will transform back into a human, and they could win. And that, my friends, is Nevermore. With most card drafting games, yes, you're simply just passing your cards, collecting a set, and doing a thing. What I really liked about this game, and it says it right on the box, your opponent's fate is in your hand. Because remember, as you're collecting the sets, you want to have the highest amount of them, because its true value will be determined as you minus the second highest player's amount of cards. The other thing I liked was the use of the modifier cards in the light and the shadow magic. They will definitely affect the game. The artwork was fantastic. I liked the theme. I liked the game overall. 
I really hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.